Well, the man who turned his father's small Connecticut bakery into a household name has passed away. When Murray Linder took over Linder's bagels from his father, it was just a small New Haven shop. Now his bagels are on breakfast tables worldwide. News H. Jeff Fallon on the scene with more on Linder's legacy. Well, the label alone brings me back to my first bagels as a kid, but now that I've had a chance to meet with people who knew Murray Lender, I think my next Lender's bagel will taste best of all. I'm Murray Lender. On bagels, I'm an expert. He was a lender by name, but those who knew him say he was a giver by nature. To so many people in this community and throughout the world, actually, but particularly our community and our synagogue. Murray Lender helped build a family empire by turning the bagel, an ethnic edible, into an ecumenical staple. Bagels were not, you know, nationwide. Bagels were really, you know, kind of local. And they, they made the bagel uh, you know, kind of a national phenomenon. And it's, and it's way beyond being Jewish or any other religion. I mean, bagels are eaten by everybody around the world. But his family's philanthropy is legion. A testament coming in 2007 with the dedication of this playground at the Daniels School in New Haven, the very spot where the lender's first bagel bakery stood. At some point he came and he talked to our eighth grade classes about the Holocaust which coincided with their first trip, our first graduating class um, trip to Washington, D.C. when they visited the Holocaust Museum. The only thing as big as Murray Lender's heart, his funny bone. He had a phenomenal sense of humor. He, uh, ne and never at anyone else's expense. It always was at his expense. And if the measure of a man is what he leaves behind, friends say the Lender legacy, bagel or no bagel, is nonpareil. They never wanted headlines. Obviously, aside from the bagel, but they but but they wanted to be kind of in the background, helping the community. We, we have so many you know tremendous programs and so many things going on just because of the generosity of the lenders. A service is set for 2 p.m. this Sunday at the Congregation B'nai Jacob Synagogue in Woodbridge. For information on donations, check out our website, wtnh.com. On the scene in New Haven, Jeff Vallon, News 8.